Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to have you all again. Wherever you are in the world, I see we have here Los Angeles, we have uh, Florida, we have New York. Okay, so let's start. Let's start into the energy forecast for March. What will be this month? Okay. And everything is recorded, so you can see it later. If you like it, you can send it over to friends. And uh, I put it afterwards also in YouTube and on my website. So don't worry, you can't miss it. Okay. If I'm a little bit too fast, so you can uh, see later. And there is also, there will be place for questions. Okay. So let's right jump into... Okay, so my goal is, first of all, that you understand the constellation of this month, what's going on, okay, to see who gets the, who has great energies and what to do when the energies are not so great, okay. Then we want to know who has a special blessing and who enjoys the peach blossom. The peach blossom is a special attraction and it helps to be more social and to attract people to you. Then we want to know what's going on in the office. Where are the good energies? Where do we want to sit? Where, okay, where do we put the, the checks and the bills and all of the important stuff? What colors do we put in our suitcase? Very important also. And at the end, we want to concentrate on a personal goal. So I'm very happy that uh, still people are coming in and also new people who haven't been here ever. So welcome. And I hope to see you now regularly. Okay. And there we'll jump right in. We always have the energies of heaven and earth together. Okay, so we always have one of the zodiac animals and we have one of the heavenly animals, uh, elements, which are the cycle of the five elements. Water gives water to the wood. The wood is food for the fire. The fire burns down into ashes, into the earth. The earth is creating the metal. Under the metal, we have the water streams, okay? And everything in this life is going according to this cycle. We will see how earth and heaven, they all actually combine into the cycle of the five elements. So are you curious what will be this month? I hope you are. We are in the month of the rabbit, okay? So what comes into your mind when you think of a rabbit? You can unmute yourself. Soft. <laughs> yes. Yes. Cute. Sweet and soft. What else? Fast reproduction. Fast? Yes. Very <laughs> fast. Jumping back and forth. Yes. What else? La big family. Okay, um, definitely a uh, sexual, very active. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we are now in the wood dragon. Okay, so the energy is from the wood, one wood, and the animals are only symbols of the heavenly energies. So every animal belongs to one of the five elements. The dragon belongs to the earth. So we have the whole year, we have wood and we have earth. Okay, now in March, what do we have in March? Yoo-hoo, fire rabbit. So we have one fire. We have the rabbit belongs to the wood. That means we have two wood, one fire, one earth. Now look at this. The, okay. Wood enhances the fire. Fire burns down into ashes. That means actually 
actually, if you look at the cycle, wood helps feeds the fire, the fire burns into ashes until here, actually our cycle is good. Then we start having a problem. Where's the problem? Any element which is not balanced, which is not stable, makes problems. Okay, so who is not stable? The ones with zero. Okay, metal, so metal, metal and water. What is metal in our world? What is the metal element in our world? Law enforcement. Yes, law and order. Okay, that means governments, everything that has to do with law and order is under pressure and also not strong. Okay, they are not strong. And the water element, what is the water element in our society, in our world? What could be the water? Except water. And a lot of you have experienced already some installation problems this year. Because the water the whole year is our weakest element. Water is also our fear. It's our patience. Okay. And we have a lot of pressure here. That means patience is running down. Governments are weak. There is no law and order. And patience is running down. That is actually the summary of what's going on. Uh, without metal, our wood, it's the rabbit, is jumping back and forth. That means no concentration. Uh, a lot of activities which are not planned and simply uh, running ahead. It's a little bit like a chicken without a hat. Okay, and that our patient, our water is really under pressure. That is... Uh, that means we are, our patience is not there anymore, okay? So there are a lot of activities not coordinated. They are leading into fire there, but we have a little bit more of stability. Even the wood element is trying to control earth. We have a little bit more of stability here. So I hope that's a good sign already. It means this whole year we are like giving birth. We are still at the very early uh, labor. So um, we still have to wait for a good outcome. It takes some time. It's not that fast. Okay, so the whole year, watch your patience, watch your concentration. Keep your head in a good place, okay? Because there's a lot of fire, a lot of confusion around. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's going to be a good month for... Are you ready? Yes, it's going to be a good month for the goats. Yeah, all the years that I put here, all the years, they start from the 4th of February until the 4th of February next year. Okay, so if I hear, for example, uh, 1943 starts 4th of February until 4th of February in 44. If you have questions, please ask me. That's very important. Okay, next one, the pig and then the rat. That means all of the three of them, they have going to have a good month, a good month, okay? A good month means easy going without too many uh, personal um, activities, um, challenging activities, let's say like this, okay? For whom this month will be a little bit more challenging? We and the rabbit, who is exactly the opposite? 
Yoo hoo hoo. Look at the cycle. Who do we have here? Yes, we have the yes of the monkey. What did I do here? No, no, that's not the monkey. That's the rooster. Uh, sorry. Uh, the years here are the rooster, but somehow I got here the I wrote monkey. Okay, the years are rooster. So yeah, Irena, you're the monkey. Good. Okay, so it's not the monkey, it's the rooster. For the rooster, it's a little bit more challenging. Challenging means uh, it's a good month to grow. Okay, there is not such a thing as a bad month or day. It's only a time where we have to take ourselves under a strict um, power and start growing. Okay. Okay, so what do the roosters can do? Take it easy, not to exaggerate with anything. Be more cautious, watch their health, drive carefully, okay? And roosters, usually they have a little problem with their ego. So calm down, calm down. That's the secret. Okay, now who is going to have a peach blossom? That means... It's going to be a very social month, a very romantic month, okay? So if you're single and you are looking for a spouse, that's the month to go out and you will be very attractive. If you're married, you can spice up your marriage. So are you ready? Let's see who has it. First of all, the tigers. Okay, so it's about time that I go home because my husband, he has the whole year and now the whole month. Okay, so I have to get home. Um, so everything, all the years again from February to February. Okay, you know this. Okay, do we have tigers here? Anyone a tiger? Yeah, okay, Leanne. Good to have. So you have a nice... Yay, yeah, Julia also. And no, Bernie not. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but it's not only the tigers. Let's see. The horses. Look at the horses here. Okay. Perfect. Do we have horses here? Okay. Uh, Julia, yes. Daniela, perfect. Okay, so go out and have fun. Go out and have fun. <laughs> okay, and the dogs. That means everybody born in the tiger, the horse and the dog. This is the time for you. Wait, I moved my head that you can see all the ears. This is the time for you to go out, to have fun, to enjoy whatever's happening around the world. We have to keep ourselves in a good place. It does not help us to stay at home and to, to be glued to the TV or to the bad news. It does not help. Okay. We have to keep ourselves here. Our mind is super, pos is super strong. And we have to keep this positive mind and a happy mind. Because our mind is exactly attracting what we are thinking of. If I'm in a bad mood and then I'm attracting bad energy. If I'm happy going out, smiling to the world, the world smiles back to me. It's difficult at the moment, but we have to do it. Okay. And we are a big crowd. That means we have power. So don't forget we in the, in our numbers, we are powerful. Okay, next one, a special blessing. A blessing is simply protection out of the blue. Okay, whenever we need it to have the protection, that's an amazing thing to have. So who has this protection this month? Everybody born with the number two or three in your year. Not January uh, 1932, okay? 
it starts in February until February with the four. Okay, so let's say you are born uh, 1953. So the blessing goes until February 54 or February 5th, uh, 64, 74. Okay, you got it. You got this. Do you have questions until now? Okay. Nobody dares to ask. Okay. If you have questions later on, you always can email me, okay? Or WhatsApp me. That's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Now let's get practical. Let's get to the house. So we have energies in our house. They are changing all the time. They are changing for the year. They are changing every month. So we want to be up to date. We want to be on good energies whenever possible. So let's do it. Okay. So when you go out of the house here, out of the house, doesn't mean if it's a private home or a building, the same thing. You go out of the house, you have a smartphone. On the smartphone, there is a compass. Okay. So you hold the compass in front of you and the direction you are looking at this is the direction now in new york city there is so so many uh, electricity and uh, wi-fi i don't know what the the compasses go crazy okay so check it out with a few i even have my small field compass that i'm using it just to check up uh, what's the real direction okay so that's the important thing because it's all about the right place. So if let's start with the Northwest, you're going out for the Northwest, there is some betrayal, which we can fix. Uh, when you're going out to the West, that's a little bit more difficult. Let's, um, when you go out towards South, you have to be more careful with all legal stuff. And if you go out uh, towards the southeast, means you have to be more careful when you are uh, with health issues. Okay, let me see what I have here. Ah, okay. Okay, I can open the chat on the side. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, now I can see it. Uh, okay, now let's see how this looks in the apartment. Okay, in the whole apartment, this is only in... An example, okay? You have your own floor plan and you have your own directions, but the West, anywhere will be the West. So in this apartment here, the West is their balcony. It's outside. That means the house is not so affected by it because it's outside, okay? It's a balcony. Uh, but their headboard is towards the west. That's the problem. Um, okay, by the way, a few apartments where, where I've been now on my trip, I had to change the people's bed to another direction, even sometimes uh, off-site or in a funny way. And you wouldn't believe every one of them the next day, oh, I slept so well. I never... It's amazing. I... First time for months, I dreamt of my mom. Okay, you can feel the difference right away when you get out of the problems. So in this case, these poor people here, they have to change their bed. Okay, that's the West. Uh, give you an example. Uh, in this apartment, they will not use their balcony so much this year because it's not attractive. We had the same problem. Uh, we had the same problem uh, two, for two years now in our house. And then as I move, ah, there. As soon as I moved the bed to the east, I slept and dreamt way better. You see? Right here, one of you. Great. Thank you, Marisa. And okay, where I was, I got it. Okay, at home. So we had the bad energies in the northeast for two years. Usually, we are every even in the morning, we have breakfast outside. We like to be outside. Okay. Also, the weather mostly 
uh, allows it. But the last two years, we hardly went outside because even if we tried to, the mosquitoes were eating us. Okay, it was not possible. Now the Northeast is good again and we will go out again. Just let me get home. Okay, so in the West, um, we have some problematic energies. Okay, so here they can feel it because their bed is to the West. Then we have in the South, the legal issues. In this case here, it's dining room, kitchen. What can be legal issues in the kitchen? Um, when you're cooking, um, you're fighting. Or you sit at the dining room and you start uh, fighting. That could be. Southeast, uh, the health issues. In this case, it is the... the washing dryer, it's a utility room, so they won't feel it, okay? So in here, there will not be a health issue. Okay, so what can we do? How are the, the yearly corrections for everyone, okay? And this you do once in place, once on every floor, and then you can forget about it. Okay, so... The easiest thing is in the Northwest, we put a life plant. So the life plant here goes on the right-hand side of the bed, a little plant. Doesn't matter which one, it has to be. Okay, there is a question. Are we using Mishpatim uh, or Mikets for legal issues? Uh, I'm using the Mishpatim because this is special uh, SOHAR section for the legal issues, okay? But in any way, to have a SOHAR on the bad energies is a good thing to have because it's a protection. If you don't have space, you can put a little pinchas there. That's also very good. Okay, in the West, because this is the worst problem, um, interesting that West is uh, America, the Western world, the worst problem of the year. Think about it. Um, okay, the correction at home is very symbolically, you take a glass, which is water energy. You put in there metal. We have two kinds of metal. We have gold and silver. Okay, so you put the pennies and a dime, gold and silver. Uh, then it comes symbolic numbers. We put six pennies, and one dime or one nickel. So six is the metal yang in China. Seven is metal yin. That means we are using the whole Chinese army against this problem. Then you're cover covering it with salt, any salt, and a drop of water. And you put this beautiful combination here in the West. They have a bookshelf here. So I would put it right uh, in here. And the biggest soha that you have right beside it. Okay, that's for the West. And of course, we don't want to activate bad energy. That means anything that ticks and clocks and is connected to electricity is activating energy. If I put it on good spots, it's activating good energy. If I put it on the bad spots, it's activating the bad energy, okay? So West is definitely bad this year. So don't activate it. Keep it quiet. Okay, dokey. The next one is my legal issues here. There we put a plant, a life plant in water. No soil, no ceramics, no stones, just water and glass. Okay, so in this case, I can put always fresh flowers on the dining table. Perfect. And I have a beautiful correction for the whole year. Or I can put the lucky bamboo uh, near the window here and leave it there for the whole year. If I have a computer there, I don't want to have any water around here. Then I can put uh, just glass with salt. No coins, just salt. Okay. It's instead of the lucky bamboo uh, in water. And in the south, we put the the Mishpatim, which is the legal issue, the portion of the Soha. Okay, now, uh, the health issues. Uh, the original cure is the coin string. 
but you also can use any metal. Okay, in this case here in the in this uh, misave in this um, pantry, there's nothing. You okay? So there. Okay, health issues. What can be? You might get uh, ants in it, or you might get some mold in it. Something like this. Okay, so this is possible. So these are the corrections for the whole year. The number three in the middle here. Wait, wait, there is a question here. I didn't understand the difference between the room and overall space. You are saying dining, living room. Uh, yeah, the coaches are fine, but the dining table, who cares are not. Okay, uh, there is a general question. Okay, in general, um, the south, okay, if I say the south, in this apartment, we take, it's the whole south wall, okay, and especially the middle of the south wall, which gets this energy of legal problems. The couches on the other side, they are to the north wall, so they are not affected, okay? The bookcase, he is on the west wall. That means he gets the worst energy. Okay, so we take everything in big. We also have it in small. That means you can take the whole thing also in each room. Okay, like in the bedroom here, because the bed is towards the west. So it's towards the bad energy. Okay, I hope I uh, answer the question here. What size does the glass with the coins needs to be? Doesn't matter. Really doesn't matter. I usually buy little uh, shot glasses um, and I just put them. They are easier to, uh, to put them anywhere. Okay. Okay. Uh, now, number three in the middle, we have eight directions, right? And we have nine energies. So always one of the energies goes in the middle and gives us the tone, the, the subject. The whole year, we are having number three. The number three means fighting. Nice. Okay, it started already. So let's see how it is this month. Yoo-hoo! Okay. Uh, first of all, in the middle, we have the subject of the month is betrayal, gossip, going behind the back. Uh, if you look at our political situation, that's exactly what's happening. Okay, so be a little bit aware of this. There is no fix for the middle. Um, okay, our Northwest betrayal is uh, not good this month, especially not good. Okay, so Northwest is really not good. Now, if I have a bad energy and another bad energy comes in, that's bad on bad, it's not good. Uh, if I have a good energy and the bad energy comes in, uh, it's not as good as it was, but it still doesn't turn all negative. Okay, so uh, this month we have legal issues in the northeast, but still we have the good energy is normal for the whole year. So it's just be a little bit more aware of legal things. The same with the east. The East has great energies, but some health issues. It's interesting. I'm sleeping at the moment in the hotel here towards with the head towards the East, which I was very happy. But uh, because the whole year it's money energy, which actually is working, but uh, it has the health issue for this month. And as you can hear, I have a cold. Um, it's not bad, but still we can feel it. Especially if... Um, we're sensitive to the energies. Okay, so you can see this month, actually we have a problem anywhere. Um, so let's see where we have the good energies. There we want to concentrate, okay? Okay, best energy spots in March are Southwest and North. These two spots, okay, this we want to activate. Activate anything that moves and ticks. 
You can use the clocks. You can use a battery operated candle. You can put the toaster oven in the kitchen there. You can put um, a crystal in the north window. Okay. These two are perfect for, I have a few ladies here. They're going through uh, a divorce. So my all my important papers, I would put them in the northwest or in the north. If you have checks, cash money, or anything like this, southwest, north for this month. Okay. We always want to get the best out of every month. And this month, southwest and the north. Okay. Let's move on. Direction of our bed, where the headboard goes. This is what is important when we sleep, where the head goes. Okay. This month's best north or southwest. Uh, okay, this is not easy for anyone. Okay, because especially in New York, you have this beautiful, or in the States at all, you have the beautiful big king size beds. They are hard to move. So at least move them for the year into good energies. Okay, and... Um, then life will be easier for you. And you can feel it like we saw here. People can on the spot, you move the bed to a good energy and you sleep better. Okay, so the whole year, for the whole year, it's good to sleep towards east, north, uh, northeast and the southwest. Okay, now only for this month, for March, it's even better if you sleep towards the north or the southwest, then you really hit the checkpoint. Okay. When we sit at a desk, we want to have good energies in our back. Okay. That's most important. To have the good energies in our back. So where are the good energies? Exactly the same thing. It's the north and the southwest in the back. That means it's good facing south or northeast. Okay, so if you can do it at home or in your office, you don't have to move the whole desk. You can move a little bit your chair to the left or to the right. Okay, you just move the computer a little bit to uh, to the corner and you're, hopefully you can get the good energies in your back. Okay, now best colors to wear. For the whole month, it's good to have the earth colors. That means yellow, brown, beige, white and gray, and black and dark blue, and all the combinations between them. Okay, They are the balancing colors for the whole year. Oh. Okay. Okay. So how can we navigate through energies that we cannot influence? Uh, most of you, you know already my calendar, okay, which is an amazing tool. And as you see, today is the fire tiger and it's a purple day. Okay, what means purple? Um, actually, since last night, you can hear the siren here in New York um, almost nonstop. Um, okay, purple means too much fire. And fire means also uh, explosions and everything that has to do with it. Last night already, there was uh, the evacuated Times Square because there was a bomb. Uh, um, they found a bomb in the back side, uh, the back seat of an Uber. Yeah, the threat is there. Okay, I don't know what happened with it, uh, what they did at the end, but the threat was there. It's the purple color. And it starts already earlier. So if you see yellow, it's a great day. If you see green, it's a good day. This is generally, okay? Brown is too much earth, too heavy. Purple is too much fire. So how can I balance fire? With water. Exactly. Drink. That means today we have to drink more water, okay? Or we can wear a black, dark blue because this are water. Yes, I'm showing the days again. I uh, just want to explain what it means. Um, 
okay, we want to have with the colors also. Be if I wear, um, if I wear um, red color or green, I'm enhancing the fire, which I don't want. Sorry, <laughs> you see. Take a bath okay. or go to the steam or get in the pool. Exactly. Exactly. But not hot. Okay. Don't exaggerate with the heat. Okay. Uh, if you see red color means energies are clashing. So there are some complications in the world. Okay. It doesn't mean it's a bad day for you. Because that is the personal level. So... If you're doing the personal chart, I can give you the key, which every animal means for you. And there we are back here. Okay, so today is the fire tiger. So purple day means fire is in the world everywhere. You will hear also there will be some flight problems, everything that has to do with fire, air, um, things like this. Tomorrow the same. Okay, then on Tuesday, we have a red day. That means you hear the sirens the whole day. If you have to go uh, anywhere, you have to take more time into consideration because there will be obstacles on the way. Okay, so the whole, um, wow, the whole week actually is a lot of uh, fire. I'm flying on the 6th. Okay, but the snake is okay for me. So... Uh, hopefully have a good uh, have a good flight okay so it is simply a great tool so if we if I have your personal chart I will tell you what the snake means for you personally if it's a day that is against you uh, then I wouldn't make the most important things on a day like this if it's a day of a blessing on the house okay uh, it's a funny thing, a day of a blessing. Give you an example. Uh, here in New York, we were at the Port Authority. My husband was with me and we had breakfast there. And when he is with me, I'm not, uh, he usually is a gentleman. So he takes my backpack and we come out of the, we finished, we went out. We walked already over the street and suddenly I feel so light on my shoulder. I look at him. I don't see my backpack. So we ran back. The only what I had in mind, it's the rat. The rat is a blessing for me. <laughs> so we came back into the Port Authority, into the breakfast area there. My backpack was still hanging there. Okay. That's, that's a blessing. Okay. It's amazing how accurate it is. So it's an important tool for anyone. And this... It never changes for all your life. Okay, so if the the rat is a blessing, it stays a blessing even in 20 years or 120 years. So it's a great thing to have. Okay, now that's why I put the, the calendar and the yearbook on uh, sale. So you can get it here. Ah, oh, we still have people coming in. Okay, great. So it is all recorded. So if you missed it, you come in only now and you want to see the beginning, you want to send it to friends. Uh, it is recorded. I put it on YouTube. It is in our um, Facebook group. It's It will be in my website. Tonight I'm going to put this in there because now I have uh, people waiting for me soon. Okay, if you want to do a personal chart and you didn't have it yet, it's instead of 300, it's only 189 and we can, we can do this online anytime, okay? It's on Zoom, it takes one hour and gives you the information you need for all your life. Okay, okay. You have questions until now. Annette, yes, I have a beginner's question just quickly. Okay. I know just so I so just to clarify how I um, position. So the compass, so just to uh, discern those different directions in my apartment, I face the compass facing the door as if I'm walking out. Okay. Is that right? That's how and then from I face the compass as if I'm walking out out the door and that then is the positions or uh, yes, because the, the south will always be the south, okay? 
So you face, you should hold the compass the way the where you look to, and this is the, the direction. Dire oh, the the direction that I'm facing. My, I'm looking yes, to. Yes, it's the direction you are facing. This is the direction that uh, you mark down. Okay, so the and, direction but I'm facing. Up. But check it up. If it says south here and it says north, uh, in an awkward angle, something is not right. Okay. Okay. You really, you really um, and if you know where is the, the East River and it shows you west, something is not right. Okay, because here in New York it's a problem, I tell you. Ah, uh, I think I'm I think I'm seeing that. Okay, more later okay. on that. Thank That's you. Okay. I, I, I'm bringing my I will see you. I'm bringing my uh, field compass just to be sure that uh, we get it right. Okay, awesome. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, uh, Bernie, I will have to get back to you, okay? We did your chart, so I have to tell you, give you the, I can give you the key to the calendar. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, where can you find me for my new people here? Okay, we always, afterwards, it's live stream, so there are people that I don't know. My website is fengshuim.com. Um Email is Annette Nikuda uh, point feng shui at gmail.com. WhatsApp is always best. Okay, here's my WhatsApp number. It's Israel 5566858090. And uh, new is on TikTok and Instagram. I'm doing every morning a one minute video, really one minute to give you the essence of the energies of the day. Okay, so if you are on TikTok or Instagram, please join me. It's fun. Okay, so I hope you got an idea how the energies are working together. Okay, how they influence us. Uh, you know who has beneficial energies and what to do if they are not so. Uh, we learned about the qualities at home. Where are my good energies, my best energies this month? Um, okay, you know how to activate them. And we know what colors you want to wear. So now we are ready to concentrate on one personal goal. What you want from the universe for this month especially. Okay, And then if you have a personal goal, you also can... Uh, Think about Israel or your family or the world. That's up to you. So close your eyes a moment and concentrate. What would you like for yourself in this month? Thank you so much. I wish you all a quiet, a quiet March with a lot of pressing blessings and only, only good news. Okay, so thank you for, so much for coming in. And if you have questions, you always can uh, WhatsApp or email me. Thank you. And I hope thank to you. see you next month. Thank you, Annette. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>